Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your Mac OS operating system to Mac OS Sequoia. If you're running Mac OS Sonoma or an earlier version of Mac OS and you haven't upgraded yet, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do it on supported hardware. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I do want to just point out that any MacBook Airs that were released earlier than 2019 are not supported in this version of Mac OS, but anything newer than that should be supported and does support the 64-bit architecture as well as Apple's own Silicon ARM 64 architecture. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is select the Apple icon from the menu, and then go down to where it says System Settings. Select General on the left side here. And now on the right side, you want to select Software Update. Go ahead and left click on that. And then it should say that there are updates available and you can see them listed here. So at this point, you should see it listed here. However, you may need to upgrade or update to the latest version of Mac OS first before you do so. And then once you're done with that, you may also need to check underneath automatic updates here if you select this option here versus security updates only in my particular case. There may be additional options here too where it says download new updates when available. Make sure that it's toggled on as well as check for updates. And then you would select done. And then you would select update now. You have to agree to the license terms and then select agree. And this would take some time to run depending on your internet speed and your laptop's hardware as well in terms of installing the actual update. So you just would go ahead and let this actually finish here. And then once it's done, you would restart your computer. Again, the update should appear here. If it does not, you may need to restart your computer as well as checking for updates once more and then it should appear in this list. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.